Hello and um, welcome to this channel. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So we are going to be solving um, an expansion mathematics question. Now it says um, a plus b raised to the power of 4. Now in order to expand this, if you want to follow the normal approach, now this is going to be something like a plus b or multiplied by a plus b or multiplied by a plus b or multiplied by a plus b. Now this is exactly a plus b raised to the power of 4. So that means you have to expand this, expand this and expand this. Now that is quite a long approach. Now the easiest way to solve this in less than uh, 3 minutes is to employ a Pascal triangle. Now how do you get a Pascal triangle? Now it's always know it's a triangle and this is how to draw the triangle. Now always know it starts with 1 and all the edges are all, all going to be 1. So I have one here below. I have one now. One starts here. Now one plus one is going to give me two. Now here it's going to be what? The edge is still going to be what? One. Now the next one, my edge is going to be one. One plus two is going to give me three. Two plus one is going to give me three. And my edge is going to be one. Always maintain one at the edges. Now the next one is going to be one. One plus three will give me four. Three plus three is going to give me six. Three plus one is going to give me Four, and my edge is going to be 1. Now, same thing applies here. My edge is going to be 1. 4 plus 4 is going to give me 5. 4 plus 6, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 4 plus 1, it's 5. And my edge is going to be 1. Now, I'm going to draw one more. So, this is going to be 1, 6, 15, 20, 15. And this is going to be 6. And this is going to be 1. Now, notice this is for 0 level. This is the first row, this is the second, then this is the third, this is my fourth, this is my fifth. Now, notice this is my sixth row, okay? So this is the sixth row. Okay, so having noted that, now we've been asked to solve a plus b raised to the power a plus b raised to the power of 4. Now for the fourth row, for the fourth row, we have that 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Now what this means is, I'm going to now do 1 multiplied by a raised to the power of 4, b raised to the power of 0. Note, when I make a raised to the power of 4, b is going to be 0, so that when I do 4 plus 0, I'm going to get my 4. So this is going to be plus. Now the next number, I'm going to pick the next number that's 4. Then A will gradually reduce 3 and B raised to the power what 1. Now notice 3 plus 1 still gives me back my what? 4. Okay, so plus. Now the next number is 6. That's 6. This will now be A squared B squared. Now notice A reduced to 2, B is increasing. So you need to understand that A is gradually reducing and B is what? Increasing. Then I take the next number, 4, that's going to give me a, 1, b, 3, plus the last one, which is 1, 1, that will be a, 0, b raised to the power 4. So a goes from 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, while b goes to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we did 1 times this, this is a, 4, b raised to the power 0 is still b, plus we have here 4, a, 3, b, b raised to the power 1 is still b plus, here we have um, 6a square b square plus, here we have 4ab3 plus, and here we are going to have um, b4. So now, you can see from here, to get the final answer to this, this is a to the power 4 plus b raised to the power 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab3. So any of this is the correct answer to this expression. So you can see how the Pascal triangle makes it easier for us to expand it. Now if you think this is a very good lecture, share it with your friends, like it, comment on the section and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get more quality videos from us.